Like if you are not sure how to use Ajax, then probably you can, you know, uh, go for some beginner's tutorials on Ajax or try to understand whatever I'm going to explain right now. Then I'm going to say if window dot XML XML HTTP now, there are some errors. Give me a uh, believe that needs to be XML HTTP request something like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are saying, you know, if you're getting some requests from the header, then you know, create a variable and I would be naming it to XML HTTP equals to new window that XML HTTP request make it equal to the request you are getting else and uh, that's you know a fallback for IE so it would be XML HTTP would be equal to new active text object and inside here would be Microsoft and a comma and then I would be saying the XML HTTP okay so that is for Microsoft otherwise we won't be you know able to do it and out here I have to say on ready no it would be XML HTTP dot on ready state change run function okay. <clears throat> then you know we will have to make sure that the request we are getting uh, it's in the right format or in the right way okay then I'm gonna say if XML HTTP dot uh, that would be I believe ready state is equals to equals to four and XML HTTP rest, uh, status is equals to equals to uh, 200 then only you know do anything otherwise don't do anything and out here we will have to you know write the content we would be sending to the PHP page very first uh, I would be creating a variable with the name of parameters and I would be saying category name is equals to our variable that we created out here on the top and that would be category name okay and this is the particular name that would be used by PHP and this is our variable make sure uh, it is same to the one on the top and everything I have wrote on this particular page is case sensitive so if you're gonna you know make this particular X smaller it's not gonna work for you then I have to say XML HTTP dot open open the file first the request type needs to be post and the file that we would be working on would be inside the script slash category uh, create category dot php and a boolean value that would be equals to true that would be saying xml http dot set request header okay and here would be the content type after that I will be having application slash x www slash form you are well encoded and I believe there is no slash there so it would be form URL and put it. Okay. 
that seems fine to me. I believe there needs to be a space out here. I believe something like this. You are well encoded. And then I have to say XML HTTP dot uh, close. I would be no, that won't be close. I would be send our parameters. Hey guys, this is the native way to send any kind of a request uh, with JavaScript as well. So if your people are not or you know familiar with jQuery and you like JavaScript, you can use the same function without changing anything. And uh, now we would be testing whether we are able to do anything or not. But very first, go back inside the scripts folder. Okay, I believe I'm inside the wrong folder. I have to say CMS admin. And here inside the script, I would be creating a new file and I would be saying create cat dot php okay let's see whether we will get some errors or if it will work fine for us so let me say hey it says xml http is not defined because i'm missing l out here okay come back refresh now with enter now let's see here it shows the request being made to the page called create cat.php where it shows the post variable was hey because we wrote hey out here and out here it shows the source as well that would be category name equals to hey and here we would be you know here you can actually see the response you got from the php file as we haven't did anything in the php file there was no response so let me say echo dollar underscore post category name okay now come back refresh hit, hit enter out here and it will show you the response as well see the response is in it shows the html here it shows the post and here it shows the headers we used okay guys so that is a very simple way to uh, you know trigger some key up effects using jquery and ajax and now we will have to use our PHP in order to submit everything to our database, but if you people remember we don't have any database for our creates category So I would be going to my PHP admin And uh, out here I would be Creating a new database. I'm sorry not the database. We already have one out here CMS And I will be saying categories. Okay, let's say number of fields to four right now. We might need to add some more later. So we need an ID. We need a category name. Okay, then we need uh, uh, created by who is the person who created it. Um, uh, let's say created on and you know guys add one more field in the last that would be you know a very short description about the category but we won't be doing it from here if you you know if you want to use this particular effect you can only create a category with the category name but if you want to write on the entire description then we will be using you know the another tab that is only for categories so here would be description this would be a text this would be a raw char or you know i can say date time and created by would be a raw char and a category name would be raw char as well so let's say the name of the category would be 100 this would be 100 and an integer needs to be primary key and auto increment. Go ahead, save it. Okay, so we have our uh, table created successfully. 
Now here I would be saying first is if dot post if there was a post request that only do anything. And I would be saying is include wants connection dot php file and dollar category name will be equals to the posted variable we got from the other page. Then I would be saying dollar category name will be equals to copy it and here I would be saying strip tags okay. R needs to be here and dollar category name then I would be you know doing some MySQL real escape string as well just filtering the data because before inserting to our database. MySQL. What I'm doing right here. Real escape string. Okay. <clears throat> Out here we would be you know running a if and an else statement. I'm gonna say if empty dollar category name. If it's empty then go ahead and echo category name as required okay <clears throat> and else go ahead and do all this so here I would be saying dollar SQL would be equals to my SQL query insert into categories okay that would be name created by and are created on okay and the values would be category name that would be our variable <coughs> here would be a variable called session name that we haven't created but uh, very soon I will be doing it and the created on would be equals to now or die mysql you okay. guys before we insert anything to our database let's go ahead and we need to create a 